Have you ever wondered why people do more damage than you? You may have the same weapon, same armor pieces, same pet, and even similar magical power with the same power stone. Yet, you still seem to lack in the damage department in comparison to other players. Now, there are a few different stats that people don't understand or don't pay enough attention to. And that's your bonus attack speed, and also strength and crit damage balance. When it comes to bonus attack speed, the figures most definitely differ between melee weapons and bows. But bonus attack speed is a lot more simple than it might sound. And just to say it as simple as possible, the more bonus attack speed you have, the less cooldown you have in between arrow shot or hits. Essentially meaning that you can do more damage per second. For example, if you're killing the magma boss and your bonus attack speed only allows for you to shoot one arrow per second, and somebody else stood next to you has the exact same gear as you, except they have an attack speed that allows them to hit twice per second, then of course they're going to deal double damage, even though they have the same gear. And you can see the increments right here. The more bonus attack speed you have with melee weapons, of course, the time and the cooldown in between each hit reduces. For melee weapons, there's no point in going any higher than 82, because 82 basically wields you the maximum output. As for short bows, it changes a little bit. I mean, by all means still, the more bonus attack speed you have, the more DPS you do, the less the cooldown is between arrows. But you should go to 100% bonus attack speed when you're using a bow. As you can see, this is going to wield you the maximum results, allowing you to hit every 0.2 seconds, which is of course 5 per second. You might be thinking, oh, well, how am I going to get 100% bonus attack speed? Now, it's important to mention that certain items and weapons straight up give you bonus attack speed as a perk. For instance, a liver dagger is going to give you a base 50% bonus attack speed just for using the weapon. Now, what you really want to utilize is your stats tuning and your tuning points. Um, now, of course, you know, when you're using a, 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 like a melee weapon, you're going to probably want to go for something like Hurtful, something that's going to give you a lot of strength and also crit damage. If you're using a bow, you probably want to stay on the same thing unless you're using a Terminator. Of course, you'd have a lot less crit chance, so you've got to make up for that by using um, the Power Stone that gives you crit chance. But you've got a big issue though, because your bonus attack speed might be really low, considering at the moment you've not really got anything that's increasing it. Stats tuning, um, you know, can really help you out there. You can cover, you can clear your points, you can allocate points to any different stat, and of course one of them is bonus attack speed. For instance, if I put all of my tuning points into bonus attack speed, that's an extra 36.9%, which is quite substantial. Of course you don't have to put all of your points into bonus attack speed if you don't need to, but that's basically it for bonus attack speed. Like I mentioned, two people could have identical gear, one person has slightly more bonus attack speed than the other, and could potentially does double the damage. Obviously not per hit, but per second. Anyway, moving on. If you are planning on purchasing anything from the Hypixel store, make sure to use code NITROS, it gets yourself 5% off. You should subscribe to the channel, if you watch the videos and you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so. You should join the Discord server, it's linked in the description of this video. We offer slayers and dungeon carries, so if you need carries or want to carry, make some coins. Make sure to join. When trying to achieve a lot of damage in Hypixel Skybook, it's very important to know what you're actually trying to achieve. People make the mistake of coming over to Maxwell and just choosing any old power storm that looks decent. Oh, we'll go for bloody because it gives us, you know, a bit of strength and a bit of crit damage. Seems good to me. And while that's not the, you know, it's not the worst thing you could possibly do, you should have a look at your stats, have a look at what you've already got, see what you're trying to achieve, and then go from there. When dealing melee damage or bow damage, the ideal scenario is when you have your strength equal to your crit damage. This was changed way back, probably coming up on two years ago now with the strength nerf. So what I'm trying to say is the power stone that you want to use and the tuning that you want to apply is completely dependent on your gear. So we can definitely test this out. Um, we've got crimson, we've got uh, some dominance equipment, we've got a fell sword, don't ask why. We've got a G-Drag, but in all honesty, none of this really matters. You want to hold your weapon, press E, go to your Skyblock menu and hover over um, your Skyblock head. It shows you your Skyblock profile and it shows you all of your stats. Um, at the moment, we have 1,268.72 strength and 658.65 crit damage. At the moment, we have a huge imbalance to a point where we have way, way more strength than crit damage. Really, it's just not optimal. So uh, we need to go ahead and choose a power stone that is going to fit our needs better. Um, now, for instance, right here, the hurtful power stone for us is going to give us a lot more crit damage and strength, which is going to be really useful because that is what we need to fix the imbalance. So we'll go ahead and change it. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at our stats, we have 1,268 strength and 1,199 crit damage, which is obviously really close to each other. Now, this is 
really about fine. It's really close. You don't always have to balance your crit damage and strength to the exact decimal point. But you will see benefits, albeit they'll be very minimal, if you do go ahead and fine-tune it very, very carefully. And of course we can do that by um, our tuning points. Um, so we still need a little bit more crit damage. So we're going to go ahead and put some points into crit damage, and then we're going to go back and check, and we're going to balance it up until it's just about right. So we now have 1,292 strength and 1,296 crit damage. Yes, there's still a difference of like 0.3, but that really does not matter. So we're going to go ahead and test our damage. Um, and that damage is 590k, 594k, 596k, you've got it between 590 and 600k. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Maxwell and we're going to go ahead and clear our tuning points completely. So we're back to basically how we started um, with a little bit more strength than crit damage. Now we have less crit damage. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to be lazy. And we're going to put all of our tuning points into crit damage. Um, meaning that now we're going to have more crit damage than strength. Um, it's not going to be much more. And it's not. But we're going to go and see how that impacts our damage. And the changes are very, very minimal. Um, they're almost the same. Um, but on average, we actually were doing ever so slightly. It's very, very minimal. But ever so slightly more damage. When our stats were completely balanced. Now we're going to go ahead and choose a different power stone. Which is not going to be beneficial for us in bloody. Because our imbalance is going to be um, pretty uh, pretty heavy. So if we go ahead and take a look at our stats now. Um, we've got a difference of like 700 in our strength and crit damage. We can minimise that a bit by putting all of our points into crit damage. Um, but now if we do our damage test. And in fairness the hurtful power stone is more expensive. Because the buffs just are greater. But there should be quite a big difference, realistically, if we take a look. 540k, 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 540k. So we've lost like 50k damage, 50-60k. And realistically, that's just because we have a huge imbalance. So if you're ever stuck, kind of scratching your head, thinking, how come they do way more damage than me, yet we pretty much have the same gear, and we're at a very similar stage in the game. The likelihood is, is it could definitely be a bonus attack speed, and it could definitely be your balance between crit damage and strength. As these are two aspects that are most definitely overlooked. Anyway, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you all have enjoyed. I hope it's helped to some extent for some of the newer players, maybe. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.